Booties for Black Girl Nerds. So I watched the show mm. and I loved it. And I was very curious, I'm very curious about the pacing of the show. Mm -hmm. um, because the, the first episode, um, there's a lot of exposition, but it's mixed in with like some really high paced um, fighting scenes that are really cool. Then the second episode, it like you age it up or the time just jumps. So I'm curious to know um, what the next episodes are gonna be like pacing wise. Well, I think you're gonna have to wait and see some of the yeah. next episodes, but I think part of the fun is, you know, I like the slightly kind of different sort of nor narrative storytelling. Mm -hmm. And so to, in that part of what I love about the first episode is you're really just kind of dropped into this world as things are happening and things are happening quite quick. So the, the pace is very, very fast. And then in two, it sort of slows down a little bit, but there's quite a big time jump, which I think is quite unique. So I mm -hmm. think there's just some unique storytelling in the show that I, I find really interesting. And then also, I'm curious to know about the language that the twins' biological father uses is very much kind of a us versus them and the being cited as being the chosen one. Mm. So in the future for this show, or is there going to be like a war between the sighted and the blind, or can they coexist? Well, I, yeah, I mean, you know, I think you have to, again, you have <laughs> yeah. to watch the show to see where that all plays out, because that's part of, you know, one mm -hmm. of the mysteries of the show is where, where this is all going to, you know, and so what inspired you for this show and this story? Uh, the scripts. I mean, I, I was pitched the show and I loved a lot of the ideas in it. And then I read the scripts and I think that has a really unique and interesting voice. I love to world build and it was a great opportunity for that. Um, I love the themes of the show and what it says about our society now. Um, and I loved the characters, you know, the characters of Baba Boss and the emotional, kind of relatable emotional story of a family trying to protect, protect each other. Mm -hmm. Aesthetically, the show is beautiful, mm. and um, one of my favorite scenes um, that I watched was when um, the Alchemy, when they um, are on their new safe haven, and it's such this, this beautiful landmass. Mm. But you know, it dawned on me that they aren't able to see it; they're blind. Mm. And so, how, what do you, what is that like? How can you explain that a little bit at, from your perspective, and how you um, decided to visually show that? Well, I mean, part of the idea of shooting where we did and treating the world so beautiful, beautifully is the idea that the world has kind of healed itself with the sort of population of people dropping so drastically hundreds of years ago. The earth has had time to kind of heal and nature has had, um, been able to kind of reclaim civilization as we know it. Part of the irony of it all, right, is that we now have characters that can't sort of share in the visual beauty of the land in the way that we can. Um, but that doesn't mean that they can't enjoy it. I think they appreciate nature and they can certainly hear it and they can certainly smell it and they can touch it, mm -hmm. um, taste it. So I think, you know, the sequence that you're talking about when they sort of approach this new place, mm -hmm. you can sort of see the way that they're soaking it in mm -hmm. without being able to see the landscape. Is there a hierarchy to senses? Because it's how valuable it is sight. Because in the show, everyone has acclimated mm -hmm. to this new world very well. Mm -hmm. So in your opinion, like, what is the value of sight in an objective world? Um, I don't know. I mean, I think that's really, that's really tricky because, you know, for me, I, look, I value my sight. And so I think it's m my dominant sense. But mm -hmm. I think somebody, like if you're talking to Joe Strache, our blindness consultant, he would probably tell you he has a different sense that's his you know, that's his dominant sense. You know, mm -hmm. I think it's just de dependent on who the, who the person is and what their life experience is. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.